Okay. Hey, what's up? Uh, not much been up here. Last couple days of video, and I uh, just didn't do anything with because after I looked at it, it wasn't the greatest. <laughs> You're probably going, wasn't the greatest? Boy, most of what you put up ain't great. <laughs> no, I just having some issues and yeah but anyway we're going to go out to the farm and start on a project um, I'm really really thinking I don't want to pull that motor and uh, I guess if I build it I've got enough I think I've got enough metal laying around that I build it, no big deal. Uh, this metal I got laying there has already cost me money once. I just will put it to use instead of letting it lay there. So I finally found out some measurements of what I want to build from different companies and that. And I'm going to go kind of happy medium and and uh, do a welding project, I guess. That way I can put that motor in and have the coolant system hooked up, charging system hooked up, and uh, run her until she gets up to operating temp and have her all broke in. And that way I can fix any oil leaks, if any. If I decide I don't like how it sounds, I can switch out the cam before putting it in the car. So, and having to pull everything apart. But, uh, so hopefully we'll get some metal cut and should have the mainframe probably built today. I'm getting a late start to today. It's, well, not really late. I guess it's all about 1020. <laughs> so uh, Dan was in the wood shop yesterday. Had to grab something for the wife and Got a mess there. I guess I evidently have a hole or something in my roof and uh, yeah, I've got a mess. So I think, I don't know. I think that might be the answer to the wood shop. It's time to just figure out how to sell off the wood shop. So, or it's time to figure out how to squeeze everything into a little building again. Uh, yeah, yeah, so. Alright, well, we're going to try and get something done and have a video to put up and uh, tell you, everybody up north, up in Canada, prayers are with you on all that flooding that's going on. Some of you guys are getting pretty deep water up there. And just be safe. I uh, can't remember the saying they come up here something about deep water turn around don't drown don't be messing around in that water if you don't have to but, uh, all right well we're going to see what we can get done today see what other kind of trouble we can get into so all right all righty let's see i spent an hour or so cleaning that damn metal up that was a 24 foot stick of it i still got Uh, another 40 inches or so to clean up and to cut some 10 inch long legs. That's where I wish I had a metal bandsaw so I could set a stop and cut everything. Kind of cutting each piece by piece. I just don't see where I've got the frame made basically put the legs on and some wheels, get it to roll. And then it's just add things like the radiator support holder or make a radiator support. And I even thought if I can find a tube to fit inside this, I can put the radiator stuff on that. So if I got a bigger motor, I could slide it out because right now I think this is just set up for doing small blocks. I don't know if I could do a big block on here or not. But then I got thinking if I had it so it slides in and out, and you wouldn't have to have a bigger stand 
because this company I'm kind of copying and coming up with my own ideas on, uh, they had a 54 and a 64. I think the other one was 10 inches longer or something. I don't remember, but uh, just giving myself something to do. I mean, I've been out there grinding on metal and back's killing, legs are killing, and all I've been doing is sitting there swinging a grinder cleaning this metal up because it was pretty damn rusty, unfortunately. I guess to get any more metal, I gotta keep it inside. Or keep it off the ground, anyway. But, uh, now I found some other metal, too, that when used to make my engine support cross members. And I'm going to have to make another head for my, uh, press right there. So I can do some 90 degree bending to make uh, metal to wrap around this that I can bolt together to clamp it down instead of pinning it. So I got some ideas working there. So whether or not they work or not, who knows? Oh, I guess that square tubing I found. I better make sure. No, that's how they do. I don't know, I'll check. Maybe I might have to get some different square tubing if I can't find something to fit over that. I don't know. Yeah, well, chances of me ever folding this up, but uh, then also too, this will be at a 16-inch height. I guess if I don't use it as the engine stand and I got everything working, undo a few bolts, then I could have a sheet of metal I could throw on there and have a short little table for something when I'm not using it as an engine stand. So. But, uh, looks like the spot on the floor I got is pretty darn level, so we might tack her up there on the floor and check and make sure and get her X straight and, uh, it should be a nice heavy stand. So, alrighty. <coughs> Cramping the arm. <laughs> this arm I got the camera in too, so, alright. That piece there is going to get it cut in the 10 inch lengths. Yeah, well, actually, I got to rethink that. I got to do a little thinking on that. That might be closer to 9 inch legs. 9 inch lengths. Actually, I'm going to, yeah, actually, I got to do some. Okay, I got to rethink on my legs. They might, not, I might not need all that. Uh, then that, let's see, that big square tube there. Then yeah, I forgot I even had that. But uh, yeah, oh, here I'll show you the motor too. I mean, I got the plug wires on. I thought they were worse off, but it looks pretty good inside and that. Good enough to start this. Got the distributor set in on an old H A cell super coil. Uh oh, what do we got here? Now that's not good. Going to school because somebody's having trouble breathing. So, yeah, that's supposed to be like 16. I think the table. It'll be about that high. And then by the time you get the wheels on. Uh, I got. I got to rethink. I got. I don't want to end up having the thing clear up here off the floor like that one. But then again, I mean, not be so bad. I mean, if you had to get underneath the drop the oil pan for some reason. Hmm. See, I'm just using their i. No, their basic design, but I'm going to make it my own. As. Uh,
You gotta turn on the brain here. <laughs> so. Alrighty. Oh, and then on top of it all, now uh, you know, my power got shut off at the building yesterday. I got a major water leak in the roof at the building. At the wood shop, I'm talking. And now I'm getting called for doing stuff, and I have no way of getting it done. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's making me sick to my stomach. And it never fails when everything goes wrong. That's when people finally start calling me, so... I guess uh, trying to figure out how to get a cement slab out here. I've got rafters laying here. If I get a couple of cement slabs, I'd either add onto this building or build a whole another building over by the sewer so I could have a sewer and all that and just build it. But that's money here and there. That's that's I'm trying to keep it about an inch of stand and motor stuff. So. Okay. All right. There's a section of video that I've already recorded that I'm probably not going to use. So. Ah! But the pieces for the legs, so I definitely got to figure that out before I go to town. That, I'm going to, that shorter piece there, I'm going to take that to town and have them cut because you want that to be pretty square and true. And as short as lengths as I'm trying to cut, I can't get them quite cut that way. Uh, my chop saw likes drift on this tubular stuff. Likes drifting off so I don't get square cuts. So, I'd like to get a saw like builds T-Max guy, but uh, holy crap, I started pressing those. $500 sort of thing and $120 a blade after that. I'm like, jeepers, jeepers. I'm not doing that much metal fabrication, so I guess go in town and have a blacksmith cut it once in a while. Oh well. So. Well, I guess I got to do a little thinking and um, 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 picturing stuff. So, all right. You know what? I just went outside and found a lot of stuff that's going to work on this. I just got to find something to slide inside those tubes. Take a chunk of that with me and make sure I can find uh, the tube to slide inside those. I got my little blaster here I can clean that stuff up with. Grind it and blast it and all I know is from now on I get any more metal like that it's going to be stored inside. Wonder what the chances are of those plates, right? There. I'm gonna fit my wheels. If I can find wheels to fit that. And there's my plate for my feet. I got more of those out there too. Some more tubing. I got more of this stuff left here to do the adjustable supports because it'll be able to be spread out to do whatever length so and then I am ah oh, yeah I've even got a, yeah okay got an idea in my head so alright well I guess well Kind of tired of this engine stand build and another freaking project. Another project is going to be heavy and take up some room, but uh, like I said, when it ain't an engine stand, I could either put all the stuff the way I want to put this, the word stuff will be on here. I can put it all at one side and throw a sheet of plywood or something on the rest of it and, and use it for storage, actually. Or a little work table. Or get her done and somebody likes it, sell it. Alright, I'm trying to think if I got any other metal somewhere else that could end up helping. So, alrighty. Alright, well, I've been welding in. Get the iron over there. Yeah. But I thought I'd 
crane guys for a little while. They got to flip in for in. I've just very tired today. down on the floor. Oh, I don't like that at all. What the heck did I do there? I don't like that one. Well, it wasn't my greatest, so, all right. Well, let's see if I can do a better job this time. Get a little closer to me. Not leaning on the floor. I think I'll sit down. Okay. Alright. 
blade as far enough as a rusty piece of steel laying around here. I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Let's see. Didn't show you that last weld there. Oh, sorry guys, went the wrong direction, didn't I? Now, I gotta remember which side was. Best welding I've done, but oh, sit down with you guys here. Woof, ah. Holy moly! Let's see what you're seeing. Yeah, I got a bugger there to take off. That weld down there, let's see. That's what they all should have looked like. But, oh, I'm just, tell you the guys, it's grinding, I mean, I, my back was killing me, my, I just, and now I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. well, I'll grind that bugger off and, And it came out to 61 and three quarter for the X, so. And I just told my wife, it may not be perfect, perfect, but it's just going to hold the motor and it's not structural. But I tell you, I notice holding on that welding gun, I, I'm either out of that bad out of practice or I used to stay in and weld all day at a factory. I used to weld little parts to big parts to and now I'm holding on to the gun and I'm like Ugh. Oh, I don't know. Guess I'm getting old guys getting old. Alright I'll be back. Well, here's where we're at. I just got done uh, welding this little guy on. Oh, I forgot the wire brush yet. Oh well. But, uh, that's the back. Here's for my radiator support to come up. And then I welded nuts, so. And then now I gotta make uh, pieces to loop over this. That'll clamp onto that. Then I'll get my bar and that. So that's where we're at right now. And I got that dead center. 
So, I guess that'll work as a uh, well, an area for if I put a motor and tranny on there, then I got a place to put something to pull the transmission. So, well, I had one fire. Set my sweatshirt on fire. Eh. So, yeah. Now I just got. And I know I probably shouldn't have welded this stuff, but I'm pretty sure I can find tube to fit inside that. I'll take a piece of that with me. And I'll get some of that. Because those two pieces there, the big ones, are what I'm planning on making the upright for the motor out of. So, I guess I can make this thing however I want, right? I'm building it. I'm doing it without any measurements, any plans. So for I'm dreaming up in my head, looking at a picture, getting an idea, and so. Well, I think that's about all it's going to be for today. I'm going to sit here and let things cool off, make sure that nothing smolders or burns the shop down. Got yeah, enough troubles the way it is, but uh, I think this is going to work out pretty good. A couple of pieces of steel to take with me. I want to cut my legs at uh, 10 inches. 10 inches is the same as like the magic number I want. So I guess if I don't get, if I only end up with 4 inch wheels, that'll keep me 16, 14 inches off the ground or so. So, but uh, wonderful thing about building your own shit. You can build it however and I'm pretty sure this is going to hold up. That's eighth inch walled tubing I used there, so that ain't going to flex any. And uh, these are all pieces here, just support, actually, actually, I think uh, I might go to a bigger tubing. just because I can. Um, but I'm sitting here thinking how I can make those uh, use to go over that to work as clamps. I don't know if the black, how bad the blacksmith has charged me or because I got the strips here but then I thought about cutting the pieces and welding them back together. I mean have perfect 90 degrees. I don't know, we'll just have to see. Like I said, this is my own design, well, partial my own design. It's a uh, looking dream, so I mean, I could never afford to go out and buy one of these things, I'll tell you that. I'm having fun building it. So, <laughs> sorry if I seem a little, duh, I'm just, <sighs> I'm just a little, duh, I just, but anyway, well, I guess, uh, yeah, maybe the old uh, motor over there will be the first motor to start on here. I mean, once I get the legs on and the platforms for the wheels and wheels, I mean, basically, the, once the legs are on and the mounting for the wheels are on, this is ready for paint already. That's why I kind of like working with metal. I mean, yeah, I, this ain't no auto body, but it's simple, it's fast, it's easy. Woodworking, you're clamping up and gluing and waiting. Then you're sanding, then you're sanding, then you're sanding, then you're sanding, then you finish, then you sand, then you finish, then you sand. Yeah. This here, weld it up. If you finish it, you finish it. If you don't, it's ready to use. So, get some practice back in welding again. I don't know what the issue was earlier, but boy, I just. Wasn't having any fun, but well, I think I've 
carried on long enough. So, talk to you guys later. And, uh, kind of anxious to get this done so I can get the motor on here now. Which I might have to get, well, I don't know. Because I got an idea on how I'm going to do the support for the back of the motor without a bell housing. That, that popped in my head earlier. So, yeah. This thing thought of something. <laughs> so, Alright. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.